Okay, hello everybody. In this episode, I'll show you how to uh, install QGIS for the first time. So the first thing to do is uh, open up a browser and to type www.qgis.org and the, the QGIS website will pop up. I'll show you in English for it uh, just uh, you try it tries to recognize your language so uh, my uh, my started up as uh, Italian and uh, QGIS uh, I don't want to make an introduction about QGIS so I go straight to the download and you just click on the download now button okay it uh, we show you uh, a few uh, possibilities for um, this is based on your operating system I assume we will use Windows for now but you can also download for Mac OS or Linux or BSD or even uh, you can try some of the app which are not uh, um, official it's just uh, third party apps and start with so i'll uh, choose windows for now perfect you just click the download qgis you can donate if you like it's always a good opportunity to do that to improve the development to support the development and to show your uh, appreciation for the work on QGIS I close the message for now uh, the download uh, is uh, started so you just uh, wait and click this after the whole process and we I show you what to do next let's wait only a bit uh, for the other operating system mm, there is uh, uh, something to do sometimes uh, especially for Linux uh, you can choose your distribution um, but uh, the best you can do is click Linux installation instructions and uh, you will uh, have uh, to choose your distribution after doing that you can just mm, follow the instruction it's a sort of uh, checklist so you can just follow the instruction and you will get your um, QGIS installed one thing, thing I didn't mention before is how to choose between the uh, LTR, which is the long-term release, and the most updated release. So uh, QGIS have a mm, development cycle, which is uh, branched from LTR, um, which is a distribution of the software, uh, which uh, uh, ensures you support for uh, quite a long time but if you want to try uh, the latest fi uh, features you need to do using you to do it do using the last version which is called um, which is which does not have the LTR acronym after that so now we have downloaded the the, uh, the latest version but if you click on the small uh, small label under the green button you can get the LTR if you need it obviously so just click the downloaded package wait a little bit and I don't know what's happening here. Okay, it popped up here. Okay, it's computing 
something let's wait a bit okay click next i had also oh mm, okay i'll remove first my so you can uh, see how to uninstall <laughs> the whole package okay it's uh doing something let's wait a bit Demo Karma. <laughs> uh, okay, it's, it's working now. This is removing QGIS. The last version is the 3.28.1 and it's called Firenze. The, the releases are named by the places where the team development team meets the last meeting occurred in italy at Fir in firenze so this release is called firenze okay Is still removing the last version. Only a bit of time. Oh, okay. Oh, you can keep multiple versions of a QGIS installed at the same time, which is very important if you want to try new um, features but you want to keep your uh, working installation um, safe so this is a really good good thing and okay come on i think it's time to upgrade my workstation <laughs> Removing, time, removing files takes a lot, but um, QGS is quite a large software as it installs GDAL, it installs Python, it, it installs uh, Saga and other uh, open source packages. So when you install it or remove it, it takes uh, quite a long time if even if you have an SSD uh, solid state disk drive so let's keep waiting a bit in the meanwhile I will uh, talk a bit about this uh, route I would uh, like to start with you and I want to just uh, show you um, updates about QGIS, um, tutorials and how to do things rapidly. So you, we will learn about uh, using layers, about importing uh, vector data, database data which relies on the database, how to integrate with the free dimension and a lot of a lot of other things okay now we can install install it okay it keeps popping on the wrong screen so mm, accept the license first Click next, choose a path, you can leave it, leave the default, just keep the desktop short up, shortcuts and the start menu shortcuts. Click next, okay, now click install. After a while, you get a pop up about uh, giving permission to write. Okay. 
It's a bit slow. Okay. Computing space requirements. So we just wait. This procedure is quite straightforward. It's almost next, 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 next. Okay. It's installed. Once it's in, it is installed, you will find it on the desktop on the start menu. So you just uh, click on the start menu and you will uh, find the QGIS installed. Another bit, bit of time. Okay. Another thing I would like to do is to talk about some of the internals of project I am following. So I'm planning a lot of uh, new new stuff for um, the next year. And uh, I am still wondering if doing this on this channel or on my other channel. Um, we will see, I will let you know. It's updating component registration now. So it has almost finished. And after that, we will open it up, but the, the work is almost done. The interface is similar between operating systems. There are, there are just a few um, tuning, let's call it like that and polishing about the user interface it's um, mostly related to the qt usage of uh, qjs qt is the graphical library that uh, qjs uses it's quite a nice library anyway copy new files so let's wait please Move. Oh, <laughs> status is blank now. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, perfect. Finished. Now you can start it up. Okay. It's starting on the wrong monitor. This sucks a bit. Okay, it started, so I put it here. You will see the history of uh, this is the, uh, the user interface of QGS. We will see it another time. But you uh, main you can find your all your projects on the main screen, the updates on the the right, the possibility to create a new project. And you will see the browser, the layers, the vertex editor, and so on. I'll show you how to use uh, this better next time. So now we have uh, a working QGIS installation. And it's quite easy. If you want to update QGIS, you can install it on... Uh, like a parallel version or you can remove the the version you have you have and then install the new one it will never upgrade uh, a version it's a good behavior in my opinion so thank you for listening uh, bye Do remember to subscribe and to click like